it's a new day it is a new day <laughs> I'm, I'm humbled to be here <laughs> you can do a watch party you can call a friend to call a friend to call a friend to call a friend <laughs> Crystal Wadi 
Koma okuita <laughs> no kutodua la ewe fena tuli sanyu kane tonsinzanti ngamu yeka I am so honored and humbled by your messages, each one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I am overwhelmed. Yesterday, I came back at midnight and uh, the clock changed. <laughs> and uh, the sky was very interesting. Uganda, the equator crosses. Those who are very observant, those who bothered to take time and, and look at the sky, there was a change. The change did not only occur in the sky, the change occurred in my life. That is uh, very special. That is very special. Thank you so much, my friends, for the messages. Uh, thank you so much. I'm overwhelmed. Sorry, the weather also changed, so it is getting very interesting. When you when you're grateful, you thank the Lord, not so. You dance for the Lord. Something. The fire of the Holy Spirit. If you wanna 
You make sure and leave it for God. At the end of the day, when everything is said and done, can he say thank you, my faithful servant? Your name is Utarimu. Trust me, I can never regret walking with my Jesus. So, why not be happy? <laughs> I made up my decision that night. <laughs> you just first to sing this way. You see, when you don't know how to sing, you sing with others. Tormented, sick, calling. Tried everything, still the same.
this season has taught me a lot of things. Loving people with no conditions. Respecting people at all times. People more important alive, not dead. Love to forgive when it is very hard. learn to love one another with no conditions let's love to let's learn to love people and let's learn to forgive people each one of us is very important Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your guidance. Lord, as we are going to share your word, give us your revelation. Give us your revelation. Lord, I thank you for first of November. Thank you for all you've done for me. I thank you for the journeys you've walked with me. There's no day you've left me alone. There is no day. There is no day. And I thank you that I have jumped. I've crossed the line. Thank you for, for the love. Give me the strength to teach. as you increase let your work be done open your bibles in uh, Colossians it's November 
Christ-likeness. What makes a Christian different? Today, to understand that we are different, very, very different, and everyone is good at something. Like today, I've seen a very big difference between me and everyone. It had never occurred to me what today is so. If we can all get time and understand that we are different, we can never be the same. We will be very happy. We will learn to love people the way they are. And we will learn not to compete. Now I know should learn to love people the way they are. And we should learn to respect people. Colossians chapter 3. Deep devotions. Colossians chapter 3. Therefore, if you have been raised with Christ to a new life, sharing in his resurrection from the dead, keep seeking the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. When I sit to think about that scripture, to me, what it means is, in all you do, aim at God being glorified in your things. Some people interpret it. I've had someone like. When you say you want to buy a car. They are like you're being carnal. <laughs> in my mind I'm like. You want me to drive a car in heaven. You want me to build a, a house in heaven. Those things are supposed to be done here. But how they are done is what is important. How they are done is what is important. Many times we've been misled to look at things here to be so satanic. Things here are not satanic. When you read the Bible, Psalms 24, everything belongs to the Lord. But because... Man gave the power to the devil. He took over the things and uses them the way he wants. But everything, we are just custodians. How you handle things, how you handle your wife, how you handle your husband, your children, your job, your work is what is important. Is the how. You can have everything you think you want. But how is the question. First of all, how do you get it? Then how do you use it? And why did you get it? Set your mind and keep focused habitually on the things above, the heavenly things, not on things that are on the earth, which have only temporary value. To me, that one we have given 
priority to things here like you can you the way you okay let me use money having money is good and we should all have the money but when you love money more than anything else you can become a thief And when you have money and you don't have wisdom, it will send you to do things that you've never thought of that you can do. When you have money, you start getting ideas. Sometimes which ideas are not worth it. And depending on your character and the habits you decided to acquire, anything can happen. We should stop living a life of, I can do anything I want. Yes, you can do anything you want, but it's good part of what you're doing. I want to be rich physically. I am very, very rich. As in very rich. Being rich starts in the heart. People who are poor. <laughs> it also starts in the heart. By the time poverty is seen outside, it is already lingering inside and drinking tea. <laughs> For you died to this world and your new real life is hidden with Christ in God. For you died to the world to this world and your new real life is hidden with Christ in you. I told you everything starts in the spirit, then it, it manifests in the physical. You're being given birth to started in the spirit. The Bible says that he knew me before I was created in my mother's womb. If my father did not agree to marry my mother, you know I am their strength. I am their strength and uh, if they did not agree to marry one another, I wouldn't be given birth to. If my dad married somebody else, he would have given birth to another child who doesn't look like me because me, I'm a combination of my mom and him. It starts in the spirit. You acquiring the job you have, the Lord knew But remember, we are given a will to do what we want. Most of us have done things when they are not in God's plan because God's plan takes too long. God's plan is boring. God's plan is... So we've done things because we either know many people, we come from very families, uh, we think we know it all and we've engaged ourselves in things we are not supposed to be part of. The only way you're not going to know that God has never been part of that, you're going to see a struggle, you're going to see failures all the time. Like you you will be the type who sits and be like, Fetualwana. Like if anyone dares touch your thing, then, Because something God part or God, something that God was ordained, even if someone touches it, the way you look at it, eh, you will not even fight because you already know that you're just a custodian. But people who have decided to make things their property, like age, oh, my friend. Just know you've replaced God in your life with your thing. 
some of us our cars our goods our houses our marriages our children our pastors our god and we've done we've gone up and beyond to do things and someone sits those things and that's the case When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. So put to death and deprive of power the evil longings of your earthly body with its sensation, with its sensual, sinful passion, evil desire and greed, which is with, with its sensual, self-centered instincts, immorality, impurity, sinful passion, evil desire and greed, which is a kind of idolatry because it replaces your devotion to God. We've loved things more than we love God. Why do you fight because someone touched your wife, but when someone disrespects your God, you actually just walk away? When someone disrespects the word of God, that one is not a bother. You don't even make noise about it. Most of the noise we always make is about uh, someone abused my pastor, someone abused my wife, who abused my, my money, someone, uh, I found someone beating my child. I don't know if you're getting me, like, the, time, the things we look at like this, oh, it's, I think because we see them, and most of us have worked so hard to get the year, if you want to see someone who is just see them when they give you their money the words that come with their money you'll just you know that one monaco abanaku wherever to where they is even if they have all the money in the world if someone ever gives you money or offers help then that help comes with words that are despicable. Just to know Monaco. Just to know God in their heart is very, very minimal. Someone who finds sin as... Uh, if you ever hear someone tell you, but you're too much now, or you're really too much, you, you social distance very, very fast. Life is a journey and it's a race. We walk with people, but at the end of the day, COVID-19 has just brought that picture of you thought you were with people, but the truth is you are alone. And the only person who can never leave is the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit. That one, just be sure, he can never leave, no matter what. Even when you kick the Holy Spirit out, steps outside your body and waits for you outside. What people cannot do for you, the Holy Spirit will always step outside and wait for you to say, hey, hey, please come in. Because when Jesus was leaving, he said, I will not leave you as orphans. I'll send you the Holy Spirit. Because of these sinful things, the divine wrath of God is coming on the sons of disobedience. Those who 
fail to listen and who routinely and obstinately disregard God's presence. And in these sinful things, you are you also once walked when you were habitually living in them without the knowledge of Christ. But now, when you get to know Christ, when you are a Christian, there are things you have to let go. The way you go out there and you represent your boss, I always see people, um, when they go for parties, they go in the name of their company. So they go to represent their bosses. They wear their best. They even write the speech down so that they don't make a mistake. Why is it that we cannot do that for God? Whom we represent? Why is it so easy for us to just sin at any time? T? Why is it so easy to compromise ourselves? Many of us say we are Christians, but when we, our behavior within society is not reflecting it, why? Let me tell you something. My time changed, and uh, funny enough, it changed. But I was awake at the time I'm supposed to be awake. Yesterday night when I was coming home, someone was supposed to drop me, but somehow the night shift guys did not work. That is how interesting it was. It's only one person who turned up when the other person had to, to call the main office and they, they put the entire store on, a, on an alarm so that automatically set it because there's no one inside and it was very cold so I told the person uh, let me walk I literally cried because I felt I'm not worthy I told God I am not worthy I started to repent I started to repent Because I felt I've done things that don't glorify God. And I was like, Lord, I need a fresh start with you. I want to get to that level whereby when someone tells me something and I don't do it, the, the, the way I feel inside when they come to ask me that, did you do what I asked you? I want to to get to that level to do it for my God first. We've, we have feared man so much and let down God so much. We've let down God so, so much. We've not represented God the way it should be done because of our desire. It is time to put to death our desires. This body, I told you, doesn't get saved. This body wants things every day. And the devil knows it. The only time the devil will walk away is when he sees that you can no longer talk. You are in that casket and people have come to see you. That is the only time the devil is going to walk away. But the, the life, walking a righteous kind of lifestyle, you just choose. You choose. No one is going to do it for you. Jesus wants us to learn to, to, to respect people. One thing that has driven people out of church, we don't love them enough. And when someone is not loved enough, this, we all have weaknesses. 
we come from families we have weaknesses and the devil is on a rampage some of us do not know how to pray things take longer and some of us don't know how to wait i don't know why when someone gets saved like this somehow things look like they are slow actually they are not slow <laughs> But they, they seem slow. Okay, let me put it on an honest plate. They get slow. Why they get slow? When Israel was being let out of Egypt, they were going to the promised land. God, you've gotten words like you will get married. You will give birth. But before you get there, there is a journey you have to walk. The things of God, are, they come with holiness because he is God. When he looks at me, he's like, Esther, you're not ready. When I give you something now, you don't have the grace that will keep it intact the way I want it because it is precious until all my roadblocks are waved away then I will get what I've always wanted you have to pay the price which man does not want we don't want to pay the price of waiting we don't want to pay the price of hanging in there and people say olimusiru Olifara, tumanyo olimugezi na iti, tumancho uliko. Because we love tagging along with others. We love the group lifestyle. If today all of them are getting married, I should also get married. But are you ready? And is it God's plan now? We have not taken time to seek God's plan that is why we've also decided to live a life like those who do not know Christ. When you find us seated and you look at us, we all look like the group. But most of the times, the groups have targets. And everyone is looking at that target, but we've not bothered to take time to love one another. Enough so that people can stay. When I got into my local language, to know nyo kuberwa. When no nyo kuberwa, move on to went on dinner for years in a sikulava. I start to social distance. That thing, social distance, is not just for just. It is something that has been there in our lives because we don't love one another enough. The devil has always wanted it, but did not see how to bring it out. But this season, the Lord allowed it to happen because we have not done things Christ-like. We've not represented him the way he wants. So, the season we are in, he wants to sort. He is actually sorting. I told you. He is actually sorting and separating. As we are going on, you're seeing who is who, who is on whose side. He is sorting. We are just waking up now to take care of one another. But we haven't done it. The things that you're seeing now, we wouldn't have seen them if the love of Christ, the one we say we represent, was there in church, was there in our families, was there in our societies. Our societies have classes.
So sin is on a rise, on a rise. Someone comes to church and you love them that day they get saved. Then they say they are giving someone to mentor you. Now when we look at the mentor they've given you and yourself, some of the mentors you've not trained them. They are like, I'll mentor you, but I need my space. And you're like, the other side, Jamu, they need space. Even in church, they need space. Someone who had a lot of energy, a lot of love to do what they do. You see them slowly like a chicken, which, is, which has costiosis. You start seeing it doing like this. Just to know the chicken is sick. But you, when you see someone being like this, you start saying, ah, you're so emotional, you, eh, you want attention, eh, you want attention seeker, that person is not an attention seeker. That person wants to be loved. And say to kubye chiboko. Ensiwe kukuba. Ata abantu abali abatambulanga kristo. You're not supposed to show us. Like, I don't know how to put it. There are things that, there, there is a difference you're supposed to see. Your love is kajiko. Otusenida kuringa tuwa sukari. Tigwe kwenja kwa gala kwa kano weka ti. Tose mbela nyo, toja nyo nyo nyo. Mbela. And it gets very depressing when people see you so happy with. Like, you know these things are, unfortunately, people have done those things and I'm like, you, you're two people walking. Then someone finds someone. Then they, oh, how are you? Then they talk. They even forget that you're there. Eh, how are you? God created us in such a way that man wants to be loved. That is man. Those are things you're never going to take away. Jesus loved everyone. There was a difference between Jesus and the disciples. But at the end of the day, the disciples were to represent him. Your actions. I don't want to lie to you today. I didn't want to teach you. Verse 8, but now read yourselves completely of all these things, anger, rage, malice, slander, and obscene, obscene, abusive, filthy, vulgar language from your mouth. You even reach a point of saying, because you're self has not died. You've not allowed your old self to die. And when you don't allow your old self to die, it works with you everywhere. There are things you pray about, but there are things you choose to let go. If you're a Christian who walks like Christ, we walk like, we can't be Christ because Christ is Christ, but we are supposed to represent the way you represent your pastors. When your pastor is not around, they say, ah, let me give an example. 
um, on behalf of uh, Pastor Kik, he was not able to come. I'm here standing in his shoes, but they don't fit properly. <laughs> You're supposed to represent him in a way that is honorable. Pastor Kiki does not just say things anyhow. You put your old, your Esther out and now you have Pastor Kiki. Every word you bring out, we are going to see Pastor Kiki, not Esther. Don't bring Esther when it is time to represent Pastor Kiki. It is the same thing we are supposed to do for God. We were created in his image. When someone gives you their image, what do you do? We've not respected God enough not to just use our mouth anyhow. We've not respected God enough to walk in his footsteps. Do not lie to one another. These are things they are saying that you should not do if you were to be a different Christian. Of course, the world expects to see a particular picture because they've read about it. During this whole week, you've been hearing words. People are saying words and I touch my cheeky like it is and I'm like, wow. Banang. Na yate katika You've also not handled the issue God-like. Actually, you're not teaching anyone anything. You've actually just spoiled everything. There is nothing to learn there. Apart from knowing that, my friend, we can beat you properly. You've not talked. When someone makes a mistake, you teach them how it's done. But what you did to abuse the person, again, you just added salt to the wound. You just produced another picky chair that the devil wanted. And you just ended up confusing the entire, the entire session. That is why when you don't have any wisdom in your words, just keep quiet. When you feel you're too annoyed, pause. Don't say anything you're going to regret at the end of the day. We are when Jesus was a belittled, he never opened his mouth to abuse back. The whole thing just became sarcasm, confusion, diversion. The entire thing is a diversion. I told you to be careful. The devil is looking for anyone he can sit in to create confusion and diversion. Uganda, I pray you don't go back on another lockdown. London is going back on a lockdown. Spain, they are telling them, hope you don't go back on another lockdown. Here things are getting worse every day. Now people actually are attacking one another. If I find you when you don't have a mask, you're going to lose your job. Someone yesterday almost caused it. I was like, okay. The devil has hijacked the season. It is us to show the devil that, my friend, God reigns here, not you. Some of you enjoy circus, you enjoy fights. You are, that is why there are things that are getting people's views of more than 
12k because we love confusion we love the god we serve is not a god of confusion that is not god i told you when sin rises up death comes down death comes down it came in israel time there's nothing like that was that person's time the in covid-19 the devil stole people because he has always looked for an opportunity he has stolen people unless you can sit there and tell me that god said that 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 person is taking him out but it this season the devil is stealing people he's looking for every weak angle to take us out and we are still not awake the only way we are going to win righteousness is the first key letting go of the old self and we take back the place Do not lie to one another for you have stripped off the old self with its evil practices and have put on the new spiritual self who is being continually renewed in true knowledge in the image of him who created the new self a, a renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew circumcised and uncircumcised no between nations whether barbarian or synchothenia no in status whether slave or free but Christ is all and in all so believers are equal in Christ without distinction but for us we, we've decided to put a difference between ourselves even in church when they are put in the seats they are like this seat is for the so called family you're like yeah, yeah this is reserved and you're like what do you mean it is reserved then before you know it after 20 minutes late into the service the family walks in the one is supposed to sit there if it is and you're like oh okay like when people start to feel like that they are going to leave and look for places where they are welcomed where they feel comfortable where they feel loved So as God's own chosen people verse 12 is our main verse So as God's own chosen people who are holy set apart sanctified for his purpose and well beloved by God himself put on a heart of compassion kindness humility gentleness and patience those are fruits of the holy spirit which one have you bared in covid-19 your main thing that i've seen you guys are doing in covid-19 is pointing at each other's bad manners all you doing is you, i don't know whether any someone is going to pay you guys for exposing one another i don't know 
please tell me so that I don't miss out on free money just like that because just exposing you. On the fivefold ministries, you added a, a sixty a sixty ministry exposing one another. <laughs> They are six. Actually, they are seven because number six is supposed to be the Holy Ghost. You had the dawn of exposing one another in COVID-19. There is no compassion. Kindness, but there. Humility. That one, let me repeat. Gentleness, Akuna. Patience, eh, patience. <laughs> then the other thing, you're very good pretenders. Like you do things and pretend like you did not do it. So you don't show any signs of remorse. You just move on. Like you say, let's move on to Korea Viteko. But you're having wounded soldiers who are hurting. And they are leaving. And you're like, hey, Mugende. Mugende People are different. You're telling people to go. Do you know where you're sending them? I told you I'm not a pastor. A pastor of my Bible didn't get a yoke of arms in them to it. The six soul. I told you somehow that I didn't want to keep. <laughs> Humility, gentleness, and patience, which has the power to endure whatever injustice or unpleasantness comes with good temper, bearing graciously with one another and willingly forgiving each other if one has a cause for complaint against another, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so should you forgive. What you guys do is you ignore. If you can afford not to stay in the same space, you walk away. You you put on an ignoring show that I have seen it on WhatsApp groups and I'm like, wow. How can someone write something and all of you read it, then you just look the other side. Then when you wait with those you're not annoyed with, they post and you just, and the conversation flows as if you're seated on the same table. I was like, now if I'm to sit in this room with these people, what would it be like? I was like, Esther, what are you still doing here? Because when Jesus was with the disciples, he engaged all of them. But you guys, when someone makes a mistake or when you hear that someone did something, they look so sinful. It is the truth that you don't want me to talk about. But that is what is breaking families. That is what is breaking churches. That is what is breaking society. That is what is breaking nations. You actually forget one another. Some people are pretending like. I'm like, wow. But what is so funny, you all know Christ. Is that what Christ teaches us to do? Bearing graciously with one another and willingly forgiving each other if one has a cause for complaint 
against another just as the lord has forgiven you so should you forgive beyond all these things put on and wrap yourselves in unselfish love which is the perfect bond of unity for everything is bound together in agreement when each one seeks the best for others when someone is dead these words are useless you all say you read the bible i hear you have devotion time do you skip some of these scriptures do you skip you see social um what should i call it these social handles you have it is the new normal the way you would sit with someone and have a conversation that the way you guys go for parties and have a conversation is the way things are now that we should learn to engage one another that is if we love people you cannot ignore one person then another brings i've seen people they have a habit when you put there something when someone brings something like that the other person covers it and i've seen vision bearers do that the vision bearer brings things they cover you up and then people comment on what the vision bearers put up and you know what is funny your group members call one another and they're like why is so and so treating that person like that so as like in order for people not to start seeing that those things in you let me protect you and stop posting anything on your groups because me when i look at that that is not christ that is not christ that is insecurity and that is not wise the new normal is guys interacting in different groups for a particular cause it is high time we stop being hypocritical it doesn't help us and you will not go to heaven that i assure you let us stop pretending you have to get to a point you can when you were christian eh christian christ like go read the scriptures and help yourself I'll stop on verse 16. I'm read verse 15. Let the peace of Christ, the inner calm of one who walks daily with him, be the controlling factor in your hearts, deciding and settling questions that arise. To this peace indeed you were called as members in one body. You guys, when we are on those groups, we are not one body. You've already demarcated. Stop being hypocritical. You've, you've already put your boundaries. Ask the Lord to show it to you. I don't want anyone to do it to you. Because the pain it comes with, you won't even handle. When people neglect you, you won't handle when i look at you like this at most of you i used to butala life people putting you up there trust me when the tables change you will cry you won't even want to wake up 
live alone us who don't really strive on big numbers. When I love someone, I help them so that you don't walk like that. There are things you've done that are really Christ-like. That is why the Holy Spirit has failed to settle in our areas. Because he cannot afford to sit with hypocrites. He can no longer sit to, to eat food with hypocrites. Hippopotamus. He cannot. When you need help, now the entire group is involved. When it is other things, the entire group is not involved. Let the peace of Christ, the inner calm of one who walks daily with him, be the controlling factor in your hearts, deciding and settling questions that arise your friends are going back in the inboxes and are asking questions. Why is that one treating that one like that? Why? Do you know why some people are quiet on your groups? Because they cannot put up with your hypocrisy. When I sit on groups that have my family members... And they treat me like a stranger. They I know the, my friend. There is a demarcation here. Those are things that are breaking relationships. And people, when people start they go into wrong things. Then when it's too late, you know, oh my guys, <laughs> if the love was there, the way the pastor sees the amabea ranamwa, all the attention, namwa, everything, pastor, you should treat the entire congregation like because if you cannot handle it, then even the Amabera touch you more. Because let me tell you something. Your entire congregation wants to be your Amabera. But we cannot have all that. We are a body of Christ. Each one of us is a body, is a part of the body. But when your hand is hurting, the entire body feels the pain. But you guys, when your member is hurting, the rest is moving on. You choose whose funeral you go to. You choose whose wedding. Your uh, now shepherds. Let the peace of Christ, because we don't have the peace of Christ, the peace we have is something else. Because they are saying, let the peace of Christ, the inner calm of one who walks daily with you, with him, be the controlling factor in your hearts. For you, Christ is not the one controlling your factors. You guys are just trachavis vako. Again, they will need the nyamba Nze nakiriza, trust me on that. Nze, nze, esta. Nakiriza. Nakiriza ni mbaga langa we mufana na. But help your people. Now mugenda kubuli danjiri to bring in other soldiers. Ate kati haa, abu bemule ita abu barwa denyo. Ongu singa nebe muli nandoza. Bakule ngira kutivi ni waga ambaba nangi pasta nzi ni kwata kupasta mungaru nzi. Chiwa chiwepe. Nebisi uyangi wabikesi. 
Tugenda kutuke eri ama bayara teke ko padiro. Agambe e na watu manye nje tuase watu wagoroni. Na yata weva kutu kamchu mbuno tulete sente sumanyo zigendo kula chiva zitu sawanyo. Na ite wainavu devu ulirizabi zivu ya. Nze esta nkuze. Siku ze mumiaka. Ne muse yomu yo nakula. There are things that don't take me. There are things that are not going to make me run. To seek for. No, 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 no. Because waweru jemu sindika. Chivonde. I'm not about to fall a victim like other immigrants. No. I'm not giving the devil that satisfaction. Yanku bechimara. Nengawa. But I'm not giving him the satisfaction for him to welcome me in his arms because the people I thought were my friends don't care. I'm not giving him that satisfaction. No. If it means being alone, I will be. But I will not stop teaching you how to treat people right. That is my race. People want to be loved. The way you wake up, all of you in the groups don't have cares, don't have houses. You have friends because we are so many, but their life is a struggle. Wake up one Sunday, drive the car, take your children, naimo mochalidi, abafumbi le kaunga ne mukene kubanga biarina. Mweku vya vifana ni mbitu sindi. Kile ngawe musindi kia vya wa gaga. Go and drive and take your friends to, they take you to their villages and you see their parents. That is how you build a strong ministry. Mze itizi ukenze na vimanyiri. Mze na vimanyiri, but I'm helping you to help the people you're working with, you're going to give accountability at the end of the day. To this peace, indeed, you were called as members in one body of believers, and be thankful to God always. Verse 16, let the spoken word of Christ have its home within you, dwelling in your heart and mind, permeating every aspect of your being as you teach spiritual things and adominish and train one another with all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Whatever you do, no matter what it is, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus and in the dependence on him, giving thanks to God, the Father through him. You can finish the entire thing because wives, you have something there. Because you are a Christian, people expect you to, have, to behave honorably. This is a challenging thought because it calls you to be Christ-like. It is also a sobering thought because you realize that you constantly fail to live up to the standards Christ has set for his followers. Your value system is determined by the Lord. Your code of conduct honors others above yourself. You are called to be slow to judge and quick to forgive. Love, when you love, you put the other person's needs above yours. Ah, uh, and then so, I come first. Then you're not a servant of Christ, as Christ laid his life down for us. You cannot sacrifice that tank. Because you know, going to see a wig, 
and your member in the group has no food and you love us in words. Your value system is determined by the Lord. Your code of conduct honors others above yourself. You are called to be slow to judge and quick to forgive. When you are confronted with antagonism, you have the ability to demonstrate love in the face of hatred because you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. Don't be hypocritical. Don't force it if you don't feel it. Don't put on a show. In the eyes of God, you've already failed. Your thoughts speak louder than anything in heaven. He knows your heart. Don't do things to put on a show. You don't feel it, you don't feel it. Be yourself. I know that we are different. There are things you can never do and you'll never do. When you are confronted with antagonism, you have the ability to demonstrate love in the face of hatred because you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. His spirit is in you and he makes you different. If this truth overwhelms you and causes you to feel inadequate, thank God that his word gives you this guarantee. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 9. It is a journey you just choose. The way we've chosen to carry on hatred is the way we should learn to choose to walk like Christ. Let us not just bridge it. Walk the talk. You do it when you are alive. When you die, it is done. Just you repent on your word. If you don't repent for the dead, the dead, it is done. It is out. Put. That is why you guys are supposed to do whatever it takes to love people when they are alive, to respect them when they are alive, to not to learn not to badmouth people. No matter what. You have to learn to love people with their problems. They are not knowing Christ. They are being false. Because love covers a multitude of sin. When you love someone, you're going to bring them closer on the table. And the conviction will just fall down the Holy Ghost. Your part is to love them in their problems, in their falseness, in their not knowing how to talk, in their not knowing how to present themselves. Now when someone is dying, you bring out your world of so wait. And causing commotion and diversion from what the Lord is telling us to do. Now the entire world is the attention is in one place. <laughs> the other one brought destruction. It was there. Then this one comes, then covers this one. Then the local down is also coming back. And I look at them. Politicians are diverting things. The church is diverting things. And I'm like. They even forgot that Corona is dead. Then they are like, there is no Corona. Confusion. And that's what the devil wants. Ask the Holy Spirit on how to do things right. Don't wait. Don't. Some of you decided to make It is precisely your inadequacy that can be transformed into constructive purposefulness if you re relinquish it to the master 
as a Christian, you possess something very special because the Spirit of Christ lives in you. In your strength, Lord, I can become what you've created me to be. Amen. Thank you for my birthday messages. I'm overwhelmed. And I am very, very humbled. The dove is just too much. I love surprises. I woke up to surprises. Messages in my inbox and my Facebook. Send you bread. But let us walk like Christ. Don't feel good. If you don't, if you cannot do something, it's fine. Otherwise, thank you for my birthday messages. I am overwhelmed. I will be back for the book. My time changed. I am eight hours behind now. Let us walk like Christ, please. Please. You say you are a Christian. Let your life be like Christ like. Lord, we thank you for this time. I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor. I seal this life in the blood. Let your will be done, let your love prevail. This is a new month. Lord, help us to reflect you in everything we do. In all that we touch, in everything that we own. Help us to, to learn and know how to reflect you. Because there is no way people are going to love you and know you when we who are called Christians, the life we are living is not worthy you. Because people watch and look and see. There are people who are nosy and follow you to understand you. They are like, mm -mm. people are like, I don't want to accept things like that. I don't want to be Christian. Let me stay in sense and do my things. You know, in so they, they sit there and convince themselves that hey, this ends God God does not aid he will love us with our things and they are forgetting that it is <laughs> God owns all of us and he wants us to walk right with him. Lord help us. I seal this life in the blood. I seal everyone in the blood, those who come to the front line, those who stay in the background, those who share, those who who do a watch party. I know there are those who came today to attend to see whether today's message is only going to be dancing. God's work is God's work. We need to learn to walk right with God in everything we do so that God can work on our things. You do God's work and God does your work. Lord, teach each one of us to walk in that which you have called us to do, in the purpose of our lives. Each one of us was created with a purpose. I pray that each one starts to walk in line with why they were created. We are all part of a body of Christ. But I pray that we support one another to make that body whole. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I seal this life in the blood. Lord, I don't know how to teach. But Father, teach your people your word. Teach your people your word to read the word and walk that talk to touch people's lives the right way to learn how to forgive one another to learn how to be patient to learn to be compassionate
to learn to be humble, gentle. Lord, help us. Father, I thank you because you're good. As we start November, Lord, November is a fruitful month. But what kind of fruits are we bringing out? What kind of fruits? Lord, enlarge people's territories. Bless the works of their hands because this is devotion. <laughs> enlarge our territories, Lord. Those who have businesses, Father, expand them. Teach people how to be honest in their businesses. Because when you're not in honest, business will never grow. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. Lord, I thank you for Isaac. I thank you for Kenneth. I thank you for Glorious Church. I thank you for S. Rosetta. I thank you for Paul. I thank you for Ivan. I thank you for Mukasa. I thank you for Because they come to the forefront and mention their names. Let your will be done in their lives and their families. <sighs> Expand their territories, Lord. And those that I do not know their names that are seated in the background. Go before them, Lord. Teach their children how to do things right. And Father, I thank you for all those who met today on their birthday. Pastor Arthur. Sabiti Junior, I think she met four years, no more than four years, more than four years. Lord, those I share with the birthday, I know there are several. Lord, bless them, expand them, let them be role models in society to reflect Christ. To reflect the God that created them. For the glory of your name. I give you praise. I give you honor. Jesus is mighty name. I give you praise. Amen. Thank you so much. For my messages. I'll see you during the book time. Make sure please you attend. The things we are supposed to attend. The seasons are bad. It's unfortunate. Other countries are going back into the lockdown. Don't misuse the liberty you're given. Use the time you have right because we don't have time anymore.